When creating toolpaths, the safety of the machine tool, tooling, and the part are always a concern. As the complexity of the machine increases, such as the addition of a rotary fork axis, so does the complexity of the toolpath programming, which is why in the latest release of PowerMill has extended automatic collision avoidance to work with rotary finishing toolpaths. Let's take a look at this new addition in detail. We'll start by activating this rotary finishing toolpath which was created using automatic limits to the machine motion making it 4 axis. If we run a simulation, we can see the tool machines around the part until it reaches a region where the tool travels down a face causing a collision with the holder. To resolve this, we could utilize dynamic machine control to define a new tool axis in this region, and then repeat it again on the opposite side of the part, as the same issue occurs on both sides. While this will allow us to remove the collision, it is a manual process and adds to our overall programming time. With the addition of collision avoidance to rotary finishing, we can now automate this process. If we look at this next toolpath and open the settings, we can see some new tool access options where we can activate the collision avoidance and define a clearance value for the holder and the tool shank. During the calculation, the tool axis will be adjusted to avoid interference while limiting the tool axis to four axis motion. If we simulate this toolpath, and skip forward to the region where we saw the collision previously, we can see that PowerMill has automatically tilted the tool axis away to avoid the collision. It has done this using a safe, smooth, and predictable machine motion. Collision avoidance can be used for linear, circular, and spiral rotary finishing toolpaths, although its use may impact the overall calculation time. The addition of automatic collision avoidance to the rotary finishing toolpath strategy simplifies programming, reducing the amount of time and effort needed to cut complex parts. In addition, it increases confidence that your four axis toolpaths are safe and collision free. Utilizing automatic collision avoidance five axis toolpaths simplifies the process of creating machining operations, giving you greater confidence that your parts will be machined safely. Which is why automatic tilt method in Autodesk PowerMill 2022 has been enhanced when using automatic collision avoidance in constant Z and utilizing the undercut feature. Let's take a look at this enhancement in detail. We can first activate the constant Z undercut toolpath created in the previous version. We can see that part of the undercut region has not been machined, even though the tool should be able to tilt and reach it safely. Now let's look at the toolpath settings. We see that the undercut option has been checked and the automatic collision avoidance is on with an automatic tilt method. With the spiral option checked on, the toolpath is created in the region which was not in the previous toolpath, but we can see that it is fragmented and incomplete. PowerMill 2022 has been enhanced to allow the automatic tilt method to calculate high quality toolpaths in undercut regions. Let's activate the same constancy undercut toolpath processed in 2022. We can see the toolpath is complete and machines the entire feature. Opening the settings, we can see the undercut is checked and the collision tilt method is set to automatic. Let's now look at the same toolpath with the spiral option switched on. As before, we can see the toolpath is machining the region completely with safe 5 axis motion to avoid collisions involving the cutting tool assembly and the machined part. This enhancement to collision avoidance with machining undercuts inspires confidence in your machining capabilities, helping you grow by taking on increasingly complex and more valuable projects. Whether you're machining simple or complex 3D models, it is almost certain that your parts will contain a mixture of angled, curved, and planar faces that will need to be machined with appropriate strategies and cutting tools. Separating and programming these individual regions makes sense, but it can increase your CAM programming time, causing delays before you even start the manufacturing process. To aid in this, Autodesk PowerMill now has the option to exclude flat regions when calculating raster, 3D offset, and steep and shallow finishing toolpaths. Let's take a look at this new feature in detail. We will start by activating this first steep and shallow toolpath, which was created in a previous version of PowerMill. Note that it is machining every surface on the component, including the flat areas. While machining this matter will give us a finished part, it is not the most efficient process, as we are using a spherical tip tool and will need to use a small step over to achieve the desired surface finish and accuracy because of the effective cutting diameter. This part geometry contains quite a few flat areas which could be machined with the flat tip cutting tool allowing for a larger step over and cycle time reduction. To isolate these areas, we could create a boundary which would limit the machining, but this is an additional step which requires additional programming time and effort. 
With the latest release of PowerMill, a new Exclude Flats option means that we can now do this automatically. Activating the second toolpath, we will see the flat areas no longer being machined. Opening the toolpath settings and selecting the limits, we see there is a checkbox for Exclude Flats, which will automatically detect the flat areas in the machining plane and remove them from the toolpath. These areas can then be machined separately with a raster or offset flat finishing toolpath using more appropriate tools, such as a tip radius end mill. It's worth noting that these flat machining strategies have also been enhanced in this release of power mill to provide increased levels of accuracy. The addition of the exclude flats option for raster, 3D offset, and steep and shallow finishing simplifies the process of programming complex geometry. This allows you to reduce CAM programming time so that you can start machining parts sooner while also producing more efficient toolpaths for improved surface finish and reduced machining cycle time. Whether you're machining simple or complex 3D models, it's almost certain that your parts will contain multiple planar surfaces that need to be machined efficiently and accurately, which is why the latest release of Autodesk PowerMill includes significantly more accurate raster and 3D offset finishing toolpaths. Flat finishing identifies and isolates the flat areas of your part in a defined machining plane, then applies your chosen raster or offset machining method to the area. This enhancement increases the level of flat detection, allowing for greater accuracy of the machining toolpath. Let's take a look at this in detail. We'll start by activating a toolpath created in a previous version of PowerMill. If we zoom in on the area at the end, we'll see the toolpath is chamfered in this internal corner. As we review the rest of the toolpath, we can see other areas where we see the same chaffered result. This could mean material is left unmachined which would need to be addressed with other toolpaths, adding time to the programming process. Let's now activate the same toolpath created in PowerMill 2022. If we zoom in on the same areas we considered previously, we can see a much more accurate result. The toolpath follows the shape of the part more precisely and there's no chamfering in these regions meaning the right amount of material would be machined away, resulting in a more accurate part. If we display the first toolpath, we can see major differences in all the problematic areas. The toolpath created by PowerMill 2022 is significantly better. Flat finishing is ideally used in conjunction with strategies such as steep and shallow or 3D offset finishing to machine the entire component. These strategies have also been enhanced to include the new Exclude Flat option that benefits from the same improvements in accuracy. With this enhancement to raster and offset flat finishing, you can quickly create toolpaths for the machining of flat part geometry with even greater accuracy, improving part quality, while also reducing your CAM programming time, effort, and costs. When machining complex part geometries, surface and curve projection strategies can be utilized to create toolpath that more closely matches the part geometry to be machined, increasing the surface finish quality while also decreasing the cycle time. During the creation of these toolpaths, there can be instances where the geometry created for the projection can cause unexpected or undesirable results, creating unnecessary toolpath in certain areas or generating irregular patterns. This is typically a result of the projection range used to project the toolpath onto the target model being machined. By default, this range is set to an automatic distance based on the overall size of the model being processed. The automatic range can cause neighboring geometry to cast a shadow on the area to be machined. In previous versions of PowerMill, the projection range could be changed with a set of typed in commands. PowerMill 2022 improves upon this by revealing the projection range settings on both surface and curve projection toolpath menus. Let's take a look at how this range control can affect a toolpath. If we first look at this automatic range toolpath, we will see that it is very untidy with toolpath calculated in areas that are not needed. Let's now display the surface which is used for the projection. Looking at the projection surface from a side angle and hiding the toolpath from view, note that the toolpath is created by projecting outwards, normal to the projection surface itself. Looking even closer, we can see there is geometry that casts a shadow or overhangs the area to be machined. This results in some toolpath being projected onto the overhang. To resolve this issue, we can limit the projection range so that PowerMill only creates toolpath on the geometry we wish to machine, and no further. Let's look at the settings of the projection toolpath. We now have the ability to enter a projection range value as well as choosing automatic or manual. Activating manual allows for the setting of maximum and minimum distance. Looking here, the minimum is set to negative 5mm and the maximum has been set to 10mm. If we close the form and look at the toolpath, 
we will see that the manual range has limited the distance of the projection, so that it now only creates toolpath in the desired area. This addition of projection range to surface and curve projection strategies simplifies the process of creating toolpaths to machine complex geometry, especially those parts containing neighboring features, resulting in reduced programming time, improved surface finish, and faster cycle times. The ability to achieve high quality surface finish during CNC machining is key for your business to succeed. Any imperfection or witness marks left on your machined parts will need to be removed in some form of manual polishing. To help avoid this and improve surface finish, Autodesk Power Mill now includes the ability to automatically stagger toolpath start points. Let's take a look at this new feature in detail. If we activate this first example, we can see a swarf finishing toolpath cutting down the tapered wall using multiple step downs. Looking at the lower region of the part, we can see the toolpath consists of a series of closed passes. Notice how the toolpath start points are all aligned with each other. This can result in a dwell mark being left on the machined part. But why is this? As the cutting tool nears the end of the toolpath pass, the machine needs to slow down, change direction, and then accelerate back up to the cutting feed rate. During this time, at least one machine axis will probably have to reverse direction. Changes in cutting forces could result in a witness mark appearing on the part. Let's now activate our second toolpath and open the settings for leads and links. We can see that there's a checkbox to turn the new staggered start points option on. If we close the form and look at the same area as the previous toolpath, we can see that the start points are staggered. Staggering the start points in this way creates space between the end of one toolpath segment and the beginning of the next. This additional space can then accommodate a smooth toolpath link move, typically arc moves, that will maintain the forward motion of the machine, reducing the likelihood of axis reversals and improving surface finish. When this program is run on a CNC machine, each toolpath segment will effectively machine away or clean up the starting point of the previous segment, meaning that any machining witness mark will be removed. It's worth noting that Power Mill has allowed toolpath start points to be moved manually edited for some time. Crucially with this new option, the process is done automatically, saving you time and effort. The addition of staggered start points allows for the creation of better quality toolpaths with a smoother machine motion and improved cutting conditions. This helps you produce high quality surface finish and reduces the likelihood of defects appearing on the machine parts that need to be removed with costly manual polishing.